Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, Cadis Gaming. Welcome to Lamentrum. It is a pixel art survival horror game set in the New England in the mid-19th century is what I've got for a description, guys. But it's uh, all part of the uh, Steam Summer Game Festival. So it's another demo. We're going to check it out. Okay, everything looks standard. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. I think the release date on it guys also is uh, sometime 2020 so they haven't really set one yet looks nice uh, it's getting dark and Elisa is late again okay but we okay gotta use the mouse I guess I think I'll take a walk in the park while I wait for her. <clears throat> All right, and then WASD moves you around. Oh, jeez, with the movement. Looks like something speckling here. Interact, this fountain brings back memories. Okay. When I was a child, my grandfather told me that if you throw a coin into this fountain, you can make a wish. As many fountains across the world. Alright, let's see what we have here. Take the coin. Oh, I see. Yes. I guess we'll take the coin, and I suppose we're supposed to toss it in here now. We do that. We may have to put it in our inventory. Let's see. Inventory. Um, equip. And. Alright, use item. Yes. Uh, I suppose we're making a wish. I hope, I hope, I hope my wish is fulfilled. Okay, made some kind of wish. See what this person's doing over here. Anything? Oh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, I forgot I got to do it with the uh, mouse guys. It's kind of, uh, that's a little off, but I'll get used to it. Afternoon. Excuse me, young man. I was absorbed in my book and didn't see you come in. A good book always makes me lose track of time. What are you reading, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, the Mas Masquerade of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. Hmm. The tale of Prince Prospero's futile efforts to avoid death. A task we all know is impossible. Seems that the prince didn't lose hope. Uh, I would have done the same. Don't you confuse hope with impossible longings? Death is inevitable for us all. But you are still young. Enjoy life. I don't want to bother you with you. I don't want to bother you anymore. Have a good afternoon. All right. So let's see. Let's see how far. Whoop, whoop. Something back here, possibly. <coughs> Dead Robin, poor bird. Hmm. Okay. Dead Robin. Right. Uh, it is technically a horror game, guys, so I shouldn't leave just yet. Okay, so that's as far as it wants us to go that way for now. I think we can even run. Yes, we can run. Uh, it's kind of. <coughs> it's different. <coughs> it's different. Definitely different. All right. Let's see what's over here then. Veneth thing. Looks like we got some glimmer over this way. Let's check this out. Uh, take a rose. Mm, I suppose. Okay, we, we did that right. Rose in it. Yep. Okay, we took a rose. Okay. There's a statue here. I bet we can interact with that. Yep. It's a statue of the goddess Aphrodite. She is the goddess of love from Greek mythology. Hmm. Okay. Looks like that's as far as we can go that way. Can we take another rose? Take a lilac. Oh, yes. We'll take a lilac. Whoa, Victor. Hello. Sorry I'm late. <clears throat> Alright. Suppose we're talking to this young lady here now. I was so eager to see you again. Without you, this garden wouldn't be nearly as beautiful as me. 
to me. Always so flattering, Victor. Now I understand how you got my father to accept our marriage. I'm resourceful. I'm a resourceful man, and ever since I met you, I knew I had to fight to be by your side. Hmm. Fortunately, I thought the same. If not, you'd still be waiting for me to grant you our first dance. You would have missed my wonderful dance moves. I'll remain. <laughs> I'll remind you that I, I stepped on my feet several times. Regardless, I'll never forget that night. And I'll, I'll never forget how well you played the piano. Okay. Seems pretty innocent right now. The camera's doing something. By the way, how was uh, today's class? I keep improving, but you know, Mrs. Whitefield is very strict and I always finish late. Don't worry. With your beauty, waiting is always rewarded. Victor. You're going to make me blush. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Those were happy days for us. Hmm. Life seemed to smile at us and I was lucky to have her by my side. But soon our world turned gray. Okay. I should see if Alyssa is well. Hmm. Alright, we pan to one one year later. Alright. Uh, it's almost time for her medicine. Okay. Well. Oh. Just gotta go this way. Looks like we got a couple shinies here. Let's check them out. Uh, dear Dr. Hartwell. Dear Mr. Hartwell. I'm afraid I have ill tidings. As you requested, I have contacted some of the major medical eminences with the uh, intention of finding a potential cure for what currently afflicts your wife. Hmm. Okay. How do we, uh, okay. Looks <clears throat> so, like, yeah, we had something right here. Another note. Dear Victor, I cried when I received your letter. Alyssa is a is like a sister to me. My heart is broken. Hmm. All right. Looks like we have a door. It needs a key that we have. Apparently, there's a key symbol above me. So, uh, anything here? No. Here? No. We can go through this door. It's a dark and cold night. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a window. God. Uh, can we pick that up? Doesn't seem like it. We have a door over here. This is not the door. Is it the door? Yeah, that's the door we came through. Duh. All right. Ooh, getting out of control. So these are windows. Uh, it doesn't look like we can interact with anything right here, guys. So we're just going to keep lugging along. Music's definitely, definitely... That in a nice, uh, what was that? I, I don't know. I guess we have a key for, oh, hello. All right, there she is. Okay, we'll go talk to her. Uh, how are you? Okay. Have you been able to get some sleep? Hello, Victor. I've barely managed to sleep for a few minutes. I'm very tired. Hate spending so many hours trying to sleep without success. You need to rest as much as possible. The doctor said that it's important that you rest in order to recover your strength. The doctor and all of his horrible medicine. How long I how long will I have to bear for have to bear his useless remedies? Hmm. Alyssa. The doctor is doing his best to help you recover quickly. Yeah. I guess I should follow his advice. <laughs> you'll see. Soon you'll get better. I'm going to prepare your medicine. Try to rest. Okay. I'm wear her medicine. I guess right here. Maybe. Take the take Alyssa. Take the Alyssa's medicine. Okay, that was wording there a little bit. And I would imagine we're just going to administer... I don't know why it's back here a little bit. I'm going to prepare your medicine. Oh, what? I thought I already I picked it up, so... Um, what? Wait. 
Uh, do I need to put it in my high end? <laughs> Maybe. All right, and then let's go back and check her now. Okay. All right, I'm going to prepare you. Oh, what the hell? All right, so it needs to be prepared somehow, I suppose. Can we go any from now? Okay. Well, let's go out of the room here. Find, like, some... What? That was the door closing. Okay. Find, like, some kitchen or something, maybe? I don't know. Let's check this one. Ah, yes. Possibly. Okay. What do we have here? Ah, uh, this tableware was a gift on our wedding day. We, have a, we hardly used it. Rot. Okay. Something shiny over here. I'm going to go for that, guys. Take take the firewood. Um, sure. And then... Stick it in the furnace. The old oven this was here when we bought the house. Okay. Wait. Inventory. Wood. Equip. Now can we try that? No. Okay, that's not where we put the wood. Okay. Maybe here then. Put the wood here. Use item. Yes. Excellent. And now, take the cup of hot water. Yes. And then what? We're going to combine that with the medicine, right? Combined hot water. Cup of hot water with a few drips of Alyssa's medicine. Excellent. Good. Alright, and we have that in our inventory now, so now we can equip lots. We should be able to. And we'll bring this back to her. <coughs> So far, it's, uh, it, I mean, it's got a creep factor to it, guys, but, uh, no horror yet. Okay, now we should be able to, yep, here's your medicine. It is very hot. Take it slowly. Victor, if I die, <coughs> Alyssa, please don't say that. I'm sorry, I just don't want to see you suffer because of me. Hmm. Oh. I feel so helpless. Okay. This grows weaker with each passing day. Can't bear it. I can't lose her. I'll do anything to save her life. I'll find a way to heal her. I swear. Hmm. For months, a rumor circulated amongst the highest circles of society. There's a rumor about a strange count who lives far from civilization. It's rumored that he has a master of forgotten sciences and that possesses knowledge beyond all comprehension. Hmm. Stripped of all hope, I decided to contact him. To my surprise, he accepted our request and invited us to his mansion so that he could study Alyssa's illness. Now our destiny is to is in the hands of a man whose name we hardly know. A Mr. Edmund Stur St Stenrod and a place full of mystery, the Grey Hill Manor. Alright, now it's getting interesting, guys. Sir, we have arrived. <clears throat> Excellent. I like it, guys. I like the I like the graphics on it and everything. It's it's a nice setting. Um, am I supposed to let her out or uh, Ray Hall Manor looks very elegant. Yes, but it's strange that no one has come out to greet us. Maybe they didn't hear us coming be because of the rain. Possible. Remain in the carriage while I go fetch someone. All right. Ooh, kind of walked pretty fast there. Let's see what we got, guys. Uh, this was in the trailer. That's. <clears throat> oh, hello. Hmm. 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 Okay, welcome to Grey Hill, sir. Where's... Oh, I see. I sincerely apologize for not coming out to greet you. 
We didn't hear your carriage arrive through the storm. Don't worry, I understand. I'll take care of accompanying the lady to her room and take up the luggage. The Lord Count awaits you in his office. Okay. It's the first door on the left hallway. It's late and I don't want to disturb Lord Steinar Steinar. Oh, do not fret about that. The Lord Count has a habit of working late into the night. I won't keep him waiting then. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to the Count. Hmm. Interesting guys, like Dracula almost. Oh jeez, here we go. Not was that what I was expecting. Welcome to Grey Hill. You must be Mr. Hartwell. It is a pleasure to meet you. Victor, please. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Victor. Excuse me for showing up so late of the hour. Due to my wife's illness, we have suffered some difficulties during the trip. No need to apologize. I'm well aware that the reason for your visit is of vital importance. I'm eager to meet your wife and to begin studying what ails her as soon as possible. But before, you are aware of my methods, don't exactly follow the strict rules governing con con conventional science and medicine, I trust. Yes. We have long since given up on, give, given up hope in medicine. It's said that you are, it, said, it says that you are in possession of great knowledge and that your methods work miracles. Hmm. I'm achieved, a, I've achieved a great many things. <clears throat> While I've performed no miracles, I merely unshackled myself from the harmful bonds of convention and my, my oh gosh, I'm just gonna. All right, I have spent my life uh, acquiring knowledge and learning the long for, forgotten sciences. Okay, now big. Answer me sincerely. How far are you willing to go to heal your wife? I... I would go... I would do anything? Excellent. Say no more. It's late. You should rest. Tomorrow we will... Tomorrow will be a long day. I thank you very much for your hospitality and for the opportunity to you offer us. Have a good night, Lord Steinroth. Have a good night, Victor. Interesting, not going to do a panning thing. I guess we're just supposed to, uh... Oh, uh, was I supposed to do? Oh, nope, there she is right there. So, I'll talk to her. Victor, I'm sure I forgot something in the carriage, but I don't remember what it is. I feel so tired. Don't worry. I'll go find out right now. You have rest. You have to rest. Okay. Doing that. Uh, was this the way out, I think? Yes. Okay. Go to the carriage. She forgot something in the carriage, but she doesn't know what. Take the wedding ring. Yes. How strange, Alyssa never takes her... her... never takes her ring off. Hmm. Okay, well, we have it. I bet it's... I bet going back through this door... Something... something's going on here. Everything's still normal. Hmm. I expected it to be. Yeah, see, now where is she, though? Okay, his office is this way. I wonder if we have to go through that room to get actually to the bedroom, so. And I wonder if I'm supposed to talk to that person, but let's try this door first. The door's closed. Okay. That is not an option. It could be through the office way, but uh, let's see what these personists say. She deserves everything you did the right thing. Sorry? I don't want to understand you. <clears throat> everything is ready in your chamber, sir. Your room is on the first floor. I hope everything is to your liking. Your wife awaits you. Okay, first floor, okay. Uh, thanks. First floor. Okay, so I, I guess what? Oh, uh, yeah, we need to go upstairs. To the right, he said, wasn't it? 
Hello? What? Uh, what? How strange, there are chains on the doors. Yeah. How strange, there are chains. Okay. Same thing. Um, did I, did he say to the left? <laughs> he may have said to the left. That's a very why. Why, uh, why? Why, uh, why are there chains on the doors? Hmm, interesting. Maybe this is our room, though? Yes, must be. Okay. Maybe. Oh, God, what the fuck is what the fuck is what? Why do I feel like I suddenly lost something forever? Uh, that's what you're asking? Calm down. I found your ring. I have it right here. You don't have it, Victor? You never had it. What? Oh, jeez. Now it's, uh, ooh, look at the paintings and stuff, guys. I didn't notice that eyeball at first, the melting face over here. I did notice, however, all the blood that splattered everywhere. Alyssa. Huh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. All right. Is that me? This was me, me. Kind of looks like it's me. <clears throat> My character. Oh, hey. Buckle in. Okay. Huh. Ooh. Now we're in the game. Blood, I'm wounded. Blood, I'm wounded. Uh, someone has banged or bandaged, bandaged me. What happened to me? Hmm, Alyssa, I have to find her. See, now it's, uh, take the laudanum, I don't even know, laudanum? <laughs> laudanum? Laudanum? I don't know. Um, it's starting to get interesting, guys. Damn it. The video's getting up there, though. I, I knew it would be like a two, three parter thing, guys, with all these demos. So, uh, take the ink. Uh, why not? I still, I still feel confused and disorientated. I could use the ink to write down my thoughts. Maybe it will help me remember. Okay. But as I was going to say, guys, I think we're going to end this part here. I know it's going to take like two, three parts. Maybe, maybe another part. Um, to just complete the demo, but I just wanted to give you guys a first look at it. it it's interesting. It's holding my interest for sure and uh, Especially now that it's just really getting interesting, but unfortunately, we're just gonna end the video here like I said in all the other uh, Summer game festival demo games that I've showed you so far guys if you want to see more of them We can do a part two of them. Just give me some likes and it'll let me know that you guys are enjoying it uh, feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Trying to get to that thousand. We need your guys' help to do that. And as always, until next time, we'll see you later.